Hello, friends. Welcome to Noon Prayer for Saturday, June the uh, 27th. Uh, I seem to be having some issues posting to Facebook, uh, scheduling posts to Facebook today. I'm not sure what that problem is. I've tried it on a few different computers, um, so I'm going to guess that it's not a problem with my computer, but rather with Facebook itself, and I don't know exactly when that will be cleared up. So I have already posted Sunday's announcements on Facebook, which means by the time that you turn on your computers or your devices to uh, sign in for worship tomorrow morning, uh, the announcements for the day are already going to have been uh, posted to our page. If you get a lot of stuff on your news feed, you might not be able to go back and find it. I know how difficult that is sometimes. Uh, but if you go to our Facebook page, you will see a copy of the announcements and uh, as a post. And of course, they were emailed to you if you're on our list, if you're a subscriber to our list serve. So one way or another, I hope that you get a hold of this week's announcements. A reminder that because today is Saturday, tomorrow is, that means Sunday, which is the Lord's Day, and we invite you to worship with us here at 9.30, if possible, or whenever it is convenient for your schedule, if you can't do 9.30. And then, of course, we always in, extend an invitation to you to join us for our Zoom coffee hour at 10.30. And so now, on this Saturday... Let us pray. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven, he is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. As we read through the book of Acts, we have come now to the ninth chapter of Acts, the beginning, I'm sorry, the, not the beginning, the blinding of Saul. All this time, Saul was breathing down the necks of the master's disciples out for the kill. He went to the chief priests and got arrest warrants to take to the meeting places in Damascus, so that if he found anyone there belonging to the way, whether men or women, he could arrest them and bring them to Jerusalem. He set off. When he got to the outskirts of Damascus, he was suddenly dazed by a blinding flash of light. As he fell to the ground, he heard a voice, Saul, Saul, why are you out to get me? He said, who are you, master? I am Jesus, the one you're hunting down. I want you to get up and enter the city. In the city, you'll be told what to do next. His companions stood there dumbstruck. They couldn't hear the sound, but couldn't, I'm sorry, they could hear the sound, but couldn't see anyone. While Saul, picking up himself off the ground, found himself stone blind. They had to take him by the hand and lead him to Damascus. He continued blind for three days. He ate nothing, drank nothing. There was a disciple in Damascus by the name of Ananias. The master spoke to him in a vision. Ananias. Yes, master, he answered. 
get up and go over to Straight Avenue. Ask at the house of Judas for a man of Tarsus. His name is Saul. He's there praying. He's just had a dream in which he saw a man named Ananias enter the house and lay hands on him so he could see again. Ananias protested, Master, you can't be serious. Everyone's talking about this man and the terrible things he's been doing, his reign of terror against your people in Jerusalem. And now he's shown up here with papers from the chief priest that give him license to do the same to us. But the master said, don't argue, go. I have picked him as my personal representative to Gentiles and kings and Jews. And now I'm about to show him what he's in for, the hard suffering that goes with this job. So Ananias went and found the house, placed his hands on blind Saul and said, Brother Saul, the master sent me, the same Jesus you saw on your way here. He sent me so you could see again and be filled with the Holy Spirit. No sooner were the words out of his mouth than something like scales fell from Saul's eyes. He could see again. He got to his feet, was baptized, and sat down with them to a hearty meal. Here ends today's lesson. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Give us the joy of your saving help again and sustain us with your bountiful spirit. Give peace in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Keep the nations under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be forgotten nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and sustain me with your Holy Spirit. Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come before you. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, so draw our hearts to you, so guide our minds, so fill our imaginations, so control our wills that we may be wholly yours, utterly dedicated to you. And then use us, we pray, as you will, but always to your glory and the welfare of your people. Through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. O oh God, in you we live and move and have our being. Guide and govern us in this day by your Holy Spirit, that in all the cares and occupations of our life we may not forget you, but remember that always we are walking in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Well, sadly, this is the end of the week, and that means it's the last day that we'll be focusing on the gift of the Spirit, which is generosity. I feel as if we could probably uh, spend a lot of time with that particular gift. And in fact, we should spend a lot of time praying for an increase in that gift. And so to send you out today, I leave you these two verses from Luke's Gospel, in which Jesus says, Give to everyone who begs from you, and if anyone takes away your goods, do not ask for them again. Do to others as you would have them do to you. Be generous to one another as you wish that people would be generous to you. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Almighty God, bless us. Defend us from all evil and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.